Welcome to our video on the recent confrontation between British and Chinese aircraft carriers in the South China Sea. The South China Sea is a highly contested region, with multiple countries claiming sovereignty over its waters and islands. Satellite imagery has emerged that indicates that the UK Royal Navy aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth is underway in the South China Sea, while the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy flat-up Shandong is also in these waters, though the two ships look to be sailing on opposite sides of the disputed body of water, at least for now. The appearance of the British flagship in the South China Sea had been anticipated, but it still carries a significant message as the United Kingdom and its allies look to further challenge China's expansive territorial claims in this region. Using satellite imagery provided by the European Space Agency and NASA-US Geological Survey, Twitter user at Duandang appears to have located the two aircraft carriers in the South China Sea, separated by around 580 nautical miles of water. The Shandong looks to be underway just south of Hainan Island, where it is home ported within a huge People's Liberation Army Navy, PLAN base. Meanwhile, the imagery indicates that HMS Queen Elizabeth is somewhere between the coast of Vietnam and the island of Borneo. HMS Queen Elizabeth is currently undertaking its first operational cruise as part of Carrier Strike Group 21, CSG-21, which also includes the Royal Navy Type 45 destroyers HMS Diamond and HMS Defender, the Type 23 frigates HMS Northumberland and HMS Kent, an astute class nuclear-powered attack submarine, apparently HMS Artful, and two Royal Fleet Auxiliary Support Ships, RFA Tide Force and RFA Fort Victoria. Meanwhile, HMS Queen Elizabeth is embarking 8 F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing, STOVL. Stealth fighters from the UK Royal Air Force, RAF, there are another 10 of these jets on board the ship from the U.S. Marines Corps' Marine Fighter Attack Squadron, VNFA-211, the Wake Island Avengers, which is currently under British command. Although unconfirmed, there are meanwhile reports of Pulan maneuvers underway around Hainan, which could involve the Shandong. This is China's second aircraft carrier constructed in China along very similar design principles to the former Kuznetsov-class carrier to Lyoning, and which has been in service since late 2019. If it is taking part in an exercise of significant size and scope, the Shandong would also be accompanied by its own support assets. When the carrier's sister vessel, Lyoning, was underway in Japan's Miyako Strait earlier this year, it was reportedly joined by two Type 052 E Luyang class destroyers, one Type 055 Renhai class destroyer, one Type 054 A Zhang Kai class Iyer frigate, and one Type 900 and one Fu class fast combat support ship. That CSG 21 would enter the South China Sea had long been expected as part of the 26,000 nautical mile cruise that plans to take in visits to 40 nations, as well as various bilateral and multinational exercises. In a statement in April, UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said, when our carrier strike group sets sail next month, it will be flying the flag for global Britain, projecting our influence, signalling our power, engaging with our friends, and reaffirming our commitment to addressing the security challenges of today and tomorrow. The United Kingdom, alongside the United States and other allies, both regional and interregional, have been keeping a close eye on developments in the South China Sea, where the waters have long been disputed, with competing territorial claims from China as well as Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. In particular, the island chains of the Paracels and the Spratlys, home to significant natural resources, are subject to claims by different nations, while there are also territorial disputes over a variety of atolls, sandbanks and reefs, including the Scarborough Shoal, 
which is subject to a dispute between the Philippines and China. As part of its wide-ranging claims in the region, manifested in the Nine Dash Line, China has embarked on efforts to build and arm artificial islands, as well as stepping up naval patrols by its warships and aircraft. China has now issued a formal response to operations by CSG-21 in the South China Sea. The action should never try to destabilize regional peace, including the latest military collaboration between the UK and Japan. Wu Keman, a spokesman from China's Ministry of Defense, said, The Chinese Navy will take any necessary actions to countermeasure such behavior. So far, the UK Ministry of Defense has not issued a direct statement about CSG-21 now being in the South China Sea. However, Commodore Steve Morehouse, commander of the UK Carrier Strike Group tweeted on July 27 that last night we also passed close to the resting place of the previous Prince of Wales and Repulse. Those two warships were sunk by the Japanese in the South China Sea during World War I and now rest off the coast of Malaysia. The South China Sea is a vital strategic waterway, through which an estimated one-third of global shipping passes. It is also a region of increasing geopolitical competition, as multiple countries claim sovereignty over its waters and islands. In recent years, China has been expanding its military presence in the South China Sea, building artificial islands, and asserting its territorial claims. This has led to tensions with other countries in the region, including the United States, Japan, and Vietnam. A group of British warships led by the HMS Queen Elizabeth entered the South China Sea for a series of joint military exercises with the United States and other allies. The presence of the British Carrier Strike Group was seen as a signal of support for regional partners and a show of force against Chinese assertiveness. However, the deployment was met with a strong response. The British ship responded by activating its defense systems, and the Lyoning moved closer to the scene. The incident was described by British officials as dangerous and provocative, while Chinese officials accused the British of violating China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The confrontation between British and Chinese aircraft carriers in the South China Sea highlights the complex and potentially dangerous nature of the competition between major powers in the region. It also underscores the need for open communication and cooperation between countries to avoid miscalculations and conflicts. As tensions continue to simmer in the South China Sea, the world will be watching closely to see how the situation develops and what it means for the future of international relations. Thank you for watching.